Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. I'm doing this poem as part of a contest, so you're gonna watch me live as I go through my thoughts as I'm coding. Uh, there'll be an explanation near the end, and for more context, there'll be a link below on the actual screencast of the contest. Uh, how did you do? Let me know how you do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and here we go. Q2. Uh, so Q2, least number of unique integers after K removal. So this one, um, I read it, I had to read it a couple of times because even though there's a short statement, I was just having issues with reading today, maybe. Um, but, um, but yeah, uh, basically when I first saw this, I was like, this is just greedy, right? And I, I think, to be honest, I was a little bit distracted with the, the other problems not loading. Uh, so but yeah, after that, I was just like, let's go. Okay, I read this, I know what I need to do, it's greedy, let's count them. Um, well, I, I, I didn't know how to write the greedy, to be honest, when I started this, uh, but I knew that I needed to count them first. Um, and I should have used collections.counter, which is a Python thing, but that's besides the point. Uh, but, but yeah, now I'm like, okay, what do I need? Well, I just need, I was thinking about making a pairs and then sorting them later uh, or something like that. But and I was like, oh, actually, um, we don't even need the X. We just need the, the count. So, um, yeah, so then that's what I basically recognized. And then I needed, I knew that I needed to sort it. So, so basically that's, you'll see me start doing that. And then now it's greedy. You have K, of, you have to take K of them. So it just remains a, a while loop uh, that gets the K amount. Uh, basically now we, we sort it from the smallest to the largest in terms of counts. So now we try to remove the beginning and then see what's left. And that's essentially what I'm doing here. Uh, with some carefulness around the zeros and stuff like that and edge cases, basically, you know, you take part, only partial of, um, of an array or uh, of a number, you know, that number still exists. So, so basically that's what I was doing. I knew that that when I was running this test, I knew that that wasn't complete, but I just wanted to at least see whether it is ballpark correct so that I could, you know, like if it's really wrong, then I don't have to, um, we have to do something else. But the good thing in this case is that the example actually has that edge case. Uh, I was going to test it anyway, because I don't know, re recently I've been more careless uh, and more YOLO. So now I've been trying to go the other way a little bit where I'm a little bit less YOLO um, and in uh, just getting it right. <laughs> but yeah, so now I did, okay. So if this, basically if K, if, the, if we went uh, over K, then we have to, then we overcompensate it and we just put it back in. Uh, I ran the test, submit, and that's okay. Uh, okay, I don't submit yet. I actually run more tests. I definitely test a couple of cases on this one, uh, though the server is not as f fast as I would like, but, and also I run into uh, needing premium mode, pay to win maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Cool. Uh, as long as I get the zero case, I'll submit and then there we go. Q2, least number of unique integers after K removals. Uh, yeah, so this one, I was a little bit careful while I was doing it because I didn't want to get off by one hour. So I, you saw me test a lot. Um, but the idea is that uh, it's greedy. And what happens is that to get the least number of unique integers, we want to remove them from the fewest to the most often. Um, and I did that by putting it in a hash table. Uh, I guess I could have used uh, a counter actually in this case. And I sort it by, again, from minimum to max, and then just remove from the beginning until uh, we meet all K. Uh, I had to check for the zero case uh, because, um, because of just removal, but otherwise this is, O of n space, uh, O of n log n time because I saw it, but, uh, but yeah, uh, for overall, um, an interesting problem-ish, 
Uh, definitely something that also comes up in other competitive programming problems by itself. It's okay. Uh, as an interview, I guess it's okay. You just have to, I mean, it, again, it's sorting, it's greedy. Greedy is always a little tricky if you ask me, so I don't know how to tell you about it. Um, you just have to kind of reason it in a good way and intuition and practice and so forth. Yeah, that's cute too.